Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here. We're back again with the black and two... Black... Black and white two live decks. It's really difficult to say. Anyway, uh, last episode we just got like an encounter here and then I ended it. Um, this episode... I don't know. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't really think about it. Uh, I feel like we should do training. But I also feel like we're getting close to the point that we can start catching all the legendaries in the region. Uh, so I'm kind of split as to what I want to do in regards to that. But yeah, we could just beat the Elite Four a few times and, and get some levels in. I think that's probably what I want to go do. Because I need, you know, I need some levels for, uh, whatchamacallit, I need some levels for Smeargle. You get him up to like level like 80 or something so you can put in some work for us. Which is what I think I'll go do. I also, uh, I don't know, maybe I should actually organize my PC box. Yeah. How much space do you get? Um, let's go. I'm just gonna put them all in order. Alright, so box one will be one to thirty. One, two. Because every box gets thirty, right? Let's see. There's rows of six, and there's five of them. Yes, so thirty. This will be thirty to sixty. Or 31 to 60, I guess. 1, 2, 60. And I, it's about time I actually organize my uh, my PC box anyway. And I can change the backgrounds if I feel like it. So we have a few of those, but I think realistically this should be probably a training episode. Because, uh, I don't know, I mean, having Smeargle up to like 80 or something will, will make it so I don't have to worry about catching things anymore. Like, it'll be way, way easier. Which, for how much stuff I still have left to catch, that would be very convenient. One... One... Fifteen... How many boxes do we have? I don't get that many boxes. Wait, how are we supposed to store everything? Also, what is the other... What are these things? But yeah, we definitely can't store every single Pokemon in this cartridge. The... I don't know what the buttons at the top do. I guess this shows the boxes? Or... I don't know. One, two, three. That's not 180. Does that mean I need multiple save files? I didn't even think about that. There's like... I did want to try to catch every Pokemon, but uh, there's, there's clearly not enough room here. Yeah, I guess what I, I mean, what I can realistically do is it's very easy to go between save files, so that might be what I end up having to do. I guess we'll worry about that when the time comes. We'll say, like, you know, burning. Huh. That is actually kind of annoying. But yeah, that's, that is probably our best bet, is just getting, like, three different save files that I can go between. How do you- how are you meant to store everything? Uh, how to store more Pokemon Black and Two. Cause I didn't- I never really thought about this. Uh, I guess I could do like Pokemon Bank or whatever. But I think then I can't bring him back out.
Oh, okay. So you get 24 boxes in black and white. You start with 8, but you get more as you start to fill them up. Okay, okay. That was, uh... I was really confused for a second, because I was like, surely they, they give you enough space. Let me actually look up how to get more storage boxes black and white. Yeah. I didn't even think about this one. If you have, okay, so, there's 24 boxes in all, you start with 8, if you have at least one Pokemon per box, you go to 16, then 24. Okay. So let's just like move one Pokemon to each box real quick. Shoot the heck of it. Because uh, I, I, I do need to remember that. And then I guess we'll probably have a box for, like, more competitive-based Pokémon, like if I get anything with a hidden ability, specifically for its hidden ability. Like, one of the things that, that are kind of essential are Weather Setters, like if I want, like, Drizzle Politoed. That, that is kind of something I think should probably be in its own box. That kind of makes a little sense to me, personally. So now we have one in each. Alright. And then what, do I have to, like, reload? Oops. Uh, so Pokemon. Ah, yeah, look at that. There you go. Okay, that was, dude, that was actually kind of scary for a second. Like, <laughs> I think with, with, uh, 24 boxes, that should be enough for everything. But we have to like, I think we'll barely have enough. We'll have like enough space for all of them, plus like a few more. Anyway, let's go continue putting one mon in each box. Can I just do this? Really hard to tap on that. Okay, you go to box 15. Go to box 13. Okay, this is much faster. Cool. I don't know why they have it set up like that, and why you don't just have all 24 from the get-go, but I'm like... Glad I uh, at least figured that out. Okay. Alright. Be back out again. Go back in one more time, and we should have all of our boxes. Double check. Yep, 17. Does it like perma unlock them as well? Like, I, I mean, I guess I can see in a second. I was wondering if I take a Pokemon out and put it back in, if that would. Yeah. Yeah. And if I have an extra box, I think I'll make it so that's the first box, so that way any Pokemon I catch could put there, and then I can move them to the proper box. I wonder if there's like a hack or something that lets you have more than 24 boxes, that'd be very nice. Cause I feel like that's... 24 boxes is... I mean, it's a lot, but, you know, for a live dex? <laughs> it's, it's gonna fill up most of the space, having one of each. If I want one of every, like, ability or something, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Anyway, let's go through with... Let me, let me first off, let me move to just a different PC somewhere. But I don't want to have to hear the... Pokemon League theme the whole time I'm just chilling here. Go to like... I think just a normal Pokemon Center has a normal theme. Here. I said, yeah, it's a pretty good place to be. I guess there's also the PC in the daycare, so that's something. I'd rather listen to the Pokemon theme though than, than the, uh, the Pokemon League theme as I'm slowly renaming all my boxes. I am glad that you can actually do it though. I was I was really concerned for a second there. I'll not rename the boxes, but you know what I mean. 240. Okay. 241. 270. 
Zero. Okay, seventy. Hundred. It feels like the zero should be on the right, and I don't. Oh, I know why. Because when I look at my keyboard on my computer. That's that's where that is, so it's weird that it's not the case otherwise. Yeah. Three thirty. It'll take some adjusting too, but I guess there's not that much to write. Three thirty one. And I guess what I what I should do just for adjustingly, uh, consistency is I don't know every six Pokemon I catch I'll go organize my PC box so it's more visual what I've left because that'll be cool to see the, the boxes kind of fill up see where I have a lot of boxes left or whatever. Anyway, it's through ninety. B one two. Or yeah, 420. A funny number. I actually don't know what Mon is 420. It'd be funny if it was like a Moongus or something. <laughs> That'd be uh, pretty goofy. Let's uh, up to 450. I'm at 451. I know this is kind of boring, but you have to do it eventually, so... I'll do it now, get it done with, because this is probably going to be a longer, more boring episode anyway. Just kind of a net game. So that's 649. 611. Or 601. 601 to 630. And we got uh, the last. This is the last one I have to rename. 631. I think that's proper, but I think actually Victini is is index zero. Okay, uh, <laughs> on black and blue. Uh, Okie decks. of Pokemon by Unova number. Okay, so you have Victini is zero, and then... I guess it doesn't go through the national decks, it just goes through what's available in the base game, which is 300. Interesting. But I guess that'd be, so I have to add and zero to this. It'd be three, what, 648 and zero? I guess I'll just, I'll just do 649 and then I'll put Victini in here, even though it would make total sense. And I'll name this one, like, Hidden Ability or something. It's just hidden. Because there's a, I mean, you can get a lot of cool hidden abilities that are hidden grottos, which I'll try to do. And then this is just like the, uh... I'm just gonna call it Dropbox. That's where I'll, that's where stuff will drop into. That's a funny name. Oh. All right. You know what? I can I can change the wallpaper on this one. What do we have? Wow, there's a lot of options here. Special. Okay, that's kind of cool. Plasma. 
Juvi. Looking this ornament. And those are all pretty cool. I think the hidden ability mocks I should make the Pokemon World Tournament one. Scenery 2. Okay, so we got a lot of, a lot of options for this general scenery. That's cool, so I guess if you're trying to get all your like water mods together or something, that's where you put them. Nice. Yeah, so for the Dropbox itself, I feel like Monochrome was pretty cool and so was Movie. I think I'll just do Movie for now. That seems fine. For the Hidden Item Box. Uh, I wanted to do... Okay, so then let's see what we got. So in box one, I'll live here. We got like the starters all the way up to Inferus of all things. Or not Info Zero, all things. I think for like the starter route, it does make sense to have grass, but I could do like a few things here. I think forest actually makes the most sense, surprisingly. Three, three. Best for that. I'll go, yeah, I'll go with the rest for that. And for 31 to 60, that includes Magnazone, like the Monkey Trio, Icario, all the uh, RK9, all the way up to uh, Rattata, Electrolyte. For that, I mean, you know what, I'll just leave everything, like, kind of how it is right now. Uh, I'll figure all that out later, once the Pokemon are actually in the boxes. And let's go actually, I don't know why I just got out of there, but I'm, I'm gonna go now move things to their proper boxes. So, let's just go from the top down. Okay. 561 for Sigil. That's a long way away. 561 would be here. And then 9 down would be cool. Your mask, 562. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's kind of nuts that we just happened to find the two that would be next to each other. Uh, and she's 27. But it actually goes in that first box. Nice. 27 is... It says we be 30, 29, 28, 27. Get Let's, let's go from the starting box so that we don't do a lot. Uh, 585 should be pretty close to here. 600, 599, 8. Okay, 600, and then minus 5 is 595, 585, right? Or 590, and then 585, I believe. 75. Another six per row. Wait, I'm being stupid. Okay, so this will be 577. And then, uh. I'm doing math in my head right now. <laughs> so this will be 583, so I actually need to move it 3 in here. So 584, 584. So I actually have to fix these two as well. So, uh, with six per row. Then. The, uh, it'd be 570 down to 562 is this. Right there. I thought it was uh, the uh, like 5x6 instead of 6x5. I thought it was the confusion. That makes sense to anyone. 510, man. I didn't realize they all had such high numbers. And Burden's a nice ability. 511 is here. 510. Right bottom. I wish I could change the music being played in the Pokemon Center, but I don't think I can, so get used to hearing this. 602! Man, they're just, I guess they put them at the end because they're the newer Pokemon, but it's still nuts. For 570. I guess all the, because most of the stuff we got is, you know, then uh, it'll all be pretty cut and dry. Five. Didn't we already have one? I guess Sap Sipper was the hidden ability. So let me let me go on Serbia. I, I this, this 
the annoying process I gotta do once. I'd rather you just have it done with now. Not have to worry about it as much later. Uh, Sap Sipper's a normal ability, so I think the other one had the hidden ability. So, Serene Grace. Yeah, that's its hidden ability. I'll put this in the hidden box. That is the only reason I have it. Gun by forty one. Oh, nice. Just the start of this box. Cool, cool. Five twenty. I guess it would probably be faster if I started using this thing on the right, but. This is 517, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, if they're in the wrong space slightly, I can, I can fix them really easy later. Okay, so that means 27. Still right. I actually can 588. Let's try this. Well, that doesn't. That's not exact, but actually, it's probably better if I just move things to the proper box and then organize them because it's going to be way faster that way. Because moving between the boxes is just really weird normally. A lot of stuff in that box. 299. Okay, this guy's going to be in a very different area than the rest of them. 299 is here. 599. There. 573. This one is hidden ability plus Pokerus, so it's like an open win that I put in the hidden box. Anyway, let's keep going. There's not that many Pokemon to look through, luckily, because we haven't caught too, too much, but. I think have these organs. There. 42. Let's sort the front. It's actually in this box. 525, that's pretty low. 21. 523. 335. Six oh seven. I was. Uh, yeah, I, I know I've said this already in this episode, probably, but I was genuinely concerned that I might have to go. Uh... What? Oh, it's already in this box. Wow. Uh, I was really concerned that I might have to do like multiple save files because that that would have been a real like a lot of the stuff I have to do for this series is gonna be a big nuisance, but that's that's kind of a step like above and beyond. So. You know, 323, 120, oh it has a Stardust, I didn't ever take that off, 20, 30, I'm now like staring at the item thing, I didn't think I had items left on anything, really I was wrong. Oh, and this one actually has the good ability, because it, it has either this or, like, Rivalry, which only makes it better against, like, Zangus or whatever. Which, yeah. And Normal Amoongus, this is not the Hidden Ability one. The Hidden Ability ones are Generator, which I believe we also have at this point. 55. Box. Top of it. Consistency. Okay, each pair is a normal ability, so that's 183. 
221, that's... Yeah. 626, that's like the last box pretty much. It's not the last box, one off. I actually do wonder what the- I know most of the last mods are legendaries, but I think there's gonna be some non-legendary mods toward the end. I'm wondering what those mods are. Sheer Force though on Girder, I just noticed. That's pretty cool. It's a good ability. 621. Are you the rat? 447, okay. Holly, Holly's a real one. Uh, 648. I think Meloet is the last one though. I think 649 is technically zero, which is why there's 649 mons. I think Meloet is the last one, but I didn't have enough space to write zero plus that, so that's what Meloet is. 247. But this, this is the regenerator one, but take it. This one's hidden. Big Fat also hidden. No, no, not this. The Meryl is hidden ability. This one's a hidden ability. So this book with chlorophyll, I believe, is a normal ability. Double check. Oh, there's a book. Durant's toward the end. It is- yeah, oh yeah, Durant! There you go. Durant's one of the mons in the end box. If you were wondering if we'd be in there. 505. Five cent. Look at time. I remember catching. Let's hit an ability. That's, well, now I actually have to go to the start of each box because yeah, these ones are wrong. Uh, 494 or 498 for Tepig. I thought they had their own custom dex number, but I guess for the national dex they get readjusted back. 31. That is the wrong box. <laughs> I have to do that again. That's fine. D39. That's also did I am I need to like actually open my eyes when I'm putting these things away. Okay, 504 is not there. It's here. 221, yep, that's the right box for him, but these guys are definitely not in the right place. Thirty-nine is not. Luckily, I can just. Well, 
I've already discussed you. Five thirty two, this is what we're Five fifty four. That's just the wrong box. I I seriously can't keep messing that up. Jesus. Five oh nine. Um five seventy two. Triple check everything in these boxes. That's good. 519. I'm sure everything here should be here. The one box. And these all seem rare. Ranger definitely does not go here. So 509 for one is addition. Catch at 504 is 509, 8765. Five of four, so five of seven. That's 540, then this would be minus 6, it's 534, so 33 here, 33 is there, 32, 30, 32 is Catch the whole Padu line. We did. I did not realize we caught that whole missionary line. This guy's nice. Okay, 541. That's in the right spot. 531. You were just now in the right box. This was. Okay, open spot down here. You are 550. 41, 47, 8, 49, 50, 51, 51, 2, plus 8, be 58, and 50. Just a uh, high so blink five ninety nine. Five ninety eight, perfect. 
I guess we never caught a second figure seed, so... Closest after. Here. 88, okay. 88's there. Two's then here's so three. Four, five, six. By fifty four. Five seventy two is just the second. He's in the wrong place as well. Five fifty six is six oh two is in the right place. Six oh seven is row. It's twenty six. Nine eight seven six twenty one there yes five fifty seven box just right after practice no that's correct five thirty two you're in front it's forty eight is interesting because it's the last box uh that's two, 32 to 38, 38 to 44, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, these are supposedly all the hidden ones except for Strap Inch, which is 382. Oh, Does have a Rene Strap though? Very funny, funny ability. have hidden abilities and they go uh, drop box gonna be the main box to drop things in 527 I believe we already had a wood except two of them that's kind of problem um which one do we want to release I guess What is, I thought it's Wubat and Swubat, so this would be Sally the Swubat and then Dory the Swubat. Uh, this thing is, this thing is Wubat, so then it could be just, you have to evolve it at some point. And by some point, I mean I should probably do that this episode just so I don't forget. Well, let's keep going. Front. We're at 19, 1, 7, 13, 19, boom. Sam Shrew's already in the place. Okay. Up here. 258. Uh, Ana, I believe, is the only one to. That's what did all the training. I'll put Ana. 59, where Ricky Man would be. And uh, Grandmoth. Okay. 55. So that was 58, 7, 6, 5, and 42, to 55, down to 49, down to 43, so 42 is... Uh, and I'll probably take out the mons we have to evolve, because we have to evolve them, and I'm definitely going to forget if I don't do that soon. 90, 89, 8. 
81, so this is 88 to 82, 109, 91, 97, 103, and then 9, 4, Wally will be the one that evolves. Uh, Patrick, because Wally the Wii, that's why I nearly put that. 120 is at the end of the box, in the last one. 108 is 120. 114, 108 right there. 95 is 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6. 150 is at the end. Nice. 179 is for the end. 183 there. 221, so this is 217, 18, 19, 20, 20. Nice. 239 is at the end of the box. Car B car battery, I guess. It's like Kirby. Uh, Bobby, I guess I'll evolve. <laughs> I don't actually remember which of these I wanted to evolve. I don't know why I have two of them. Anyway. Keep it's 247. This pass 299. Aaron. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-three. Place three thirty-five. One before the other room because it's six per thirty-six. You're right after. And then what is immunity? Is that the better ability as well? Just forgot. Prince Fugman for getting poisoned. Nice. Well, the Toxic Boost is better, but it's still better that they both have those abilities rather than randoms. They have nothing in the 420 box. Okay. 26. I think I've actually, yeah, I've been, no, yeah, it's been right so far. 50, 49, 48, 47. One. Alright, so we, we made a full circle. Let's go grab everything that we have a duplicate of, and let's go put some of our own party members away. I'll put them in the drop box, so this is going to be our main party for a while. Uh, and then also I have to move the boxes. Can I do that easily? He was not easy way to do it. Switch box? Hmm. I think if I leave this open, then things get put here, so that's what I should do. Uh, anyway, let's go put away Jake and uh, I think there was three mods we had to evolve. Also put away again. Yeah. Maybe we can drop this variable because I'm not catching anything right now. I'm just evolving stuff. Which should happen really fast in the Elite Four. Maybe actually in the Elite Four I probably want instead of an HM Slayer. He might actually use. Which unfortunately for now is just Jake. But he'll, he'll get there. Uh, anyway, let's go grab the mons that we have to evolve. Right here, so, let's move that. Pokemon. Boom. Uh, here. I think I have to also recatch some Pokemon that I have evolved in the past. Elicate is one. Second time, just. Okay, play the, the coughing currently will become Wally the Weezing. Is that it? That was it. Ah, okay, so we have four mons we have to train, but we can't obviously take all four. We'll put on on drop boxes. Well, actually, Ana, I think I evolved with a Firestone, but I like I remember 
I have to like mass level it first and then give it the fire stone. So there's some actual reason for that. Hold items. Let me check real quick before I do any evolution if there's any evolution specific moves on these guys, but let me first go out so there's a different theme than the Pokemon theme we've been listening to for the last 45 minutes. Uh, let's see. Is there any specific level Wubit needs to have? A uh, Wubit's a friendship evolution. That's not going to particularly help if I level it here. However, go to our decks. Egg moves, make your settings, so we can learn everything. But that's not a problem for Wubat. Bobby, I will definitely give the experience sure. Just one out. Actually, no, just Elekin. Let me check up on Elekin. Then 5 decks. Uh, it evolves at level 30. And is there any specific... Gen 2 and 3 only moves, that's interesting. Some moves that only Gen 2. I don't know which team particularly good, so it doesn't really matter. But it's very interesting. It does get everything level up, so that's not going to be a problem for him. But what about Wally here? Coughing. Coughing. Uh, Alves at 35. The evolution only moves Gyro Ball. I mean, that doesn't seem particularly useful, but I just want to get it to get it, if you know what I mean. And a Gyro Ball is learned at 37. This thing evolves at 35. So we have to hold it off on evolving this thing until 37 where it learns Gyro Ball. I'm actually going to do uh, Wally first so that I remember this fact and uh, do it properly. And my Mac should sleep the uh, before the usual. Should not be any real problem here. I go do that again. That is that is the best way to get levels. That's just how it is. Not really anything super special about it. We should probably like hyper train like a really good team for doing this. Uh, but honestly, whatever. We're, we're almost level 100 at that point. We'll be fine, I think. Hopefully. But even then, at 95, like, Max died once or twice, so I don't know. Very weird. Well, let's go take you out. Very straightforward. The only downside to this method is I have to watch the uh, the end credits every single time that I do this, but whatever. It's not really a better way of gaining massive mental levels. And you know, it has the added benefit of we gotta see the nice visuals and like hear the music related with this stuff every time we come in here. That's kind of a net gain. It is insane just how leveled Max is, though. Oh, so for this guy's earthquake, with his mummy. Cool. Lasers and energy balls, this Jesus. Just annoying. Water speed. Sure. I guess the nice part is while we're here, we could probably get a. Love to get maximum levels, get my way to 100, which would also be very convenient. Yeah. We basically are just gonna mock to boost through this whole thing like we did in the past. Yeah. We will down so to that. Always gonna get some crazy levels. I don't think I'd have that far either, so that guy's getting three levels from one mom. I just think it's it says it have curse body. Let's say Cerebi Elite 4 Black and Black 2. Let me just double check that this thing doesn't have curse body, because that would just be a pain in the ass, because we're planning on crunching literally everything. Uh 
Snowflake, okay, for John. That's kind of a shit ability for it to have, or whatever. And what's weird is it doesn't even get Cursed Body when it, in challenge mode, was supposed to be harder. Actually, interesting, none of the abilities change for challenge mode, or whatever. Doing some juicy experience. Some goes to launch as well. Plus two. I'm pretty sure Frost Slash gets Curse Body. I would say Hidden Ability, that's why. I've just played against Frost Slash on Showdown, so that's why I assume it's going have Curse Body. Because it, you know, it does on Showdown. Oh, Gyro Ball. It's not the move I think we want particularly, but... Tackle. <laughs> I need to check, double check exactly what we needed for using. I thought it was at 37. I'm going to like the triple check. Maybe the black and white too have a different mind deck. There's 37 Gyro Ball. Oh yeah, Gyro Ball we learned at 29 this game, so I can just evolve it whenever David would be evolved. It's a W. That's the only evolution specific move for uh, losing. Very pre evolution, sorry. The evolution only we just tried to go, which we just got. Yeah, like talk. yeah, well, he just has to get to 35 and then he'll uh, level up. Or not level up, level up, I meant to say. Which, with two Pokemon left, should be just enough levels for him to evolve. And then we can end off this episode that was 40 minutes of shuffling the boxes around. Which is very nice to be able to do. Three, four? No? Do we have really to battle one trainer to evolve them? Kind of annoying. Uh, let me double check what the this thing has. Yeah, it's level two. I guess it always is level two. I don't know. I always forget half the abilities for Pokemon, which I think is fair, because there's like, what, 600 or something of them? The whole point of the series. And this thing only has level two. It doesn't even have a hidden or a second ability. It just has level two. So let's try on some of Better than Sludge? No, okay, let's just straight up better than Sludge. Boom. There you go, Wally. And here, yeah, you're level 34, so you're not gonna evolve. It's just pretty annoying. But I should be able to uh, take the experience share off of him, give it to Bobby. I don't actually remember if he's a. Uh, I think he might be a friendship evolution. Dude, I know he, his, his final thing is a trade evolution, which is just going to be annoying because I have to do that in emulator. Uh, unless I do some shenanigans, I do actually temporarily have ESI, so I can maybe do some shenanigans. Anyway, you evolve at uh, 35, so what I'm going to do is lead you and then let Sally die. Whatever, I can revive Sally after the battle. Uh, I think you're the second person. Yeah, so what I'll do is I, if I lead with Wally, he'll get enough experience, I believe, to hit 35. And then I can swap directly to Crocodile, who is immune to the psychic attack they're going to try to use in the poison time. Let me also heal up just in case, because I can't be too safe with that. But yeah, Max is Dark type, and they'll use a Psychic type move on the uh, Poison type. Let me also just double check that Holly is close. Yeah, he's... So beating one Mon should be enough to get that evolution out of the line. And uh, yeah, we should be able to abuse the AI to get some levels with Wally without having to experience your own. I guess the first thing that attacks only is Charge Beam, Gone and Dream Beam, so it's not particularly useful for us. And I'm imagining it's going to go for Charge Beam because that'll kill, which I think we also are immune to because Ground, uh, sorry, Ground and uh, Dark are immune to Electric and yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, we're immune to Electric and uh, also Psychic. That kind of a W. 
but yeah, even if it had, uh, I guess it had happened to have only an electric attacking move, and no other attacking moves, it's Reflect, Dream Eater, and Yawn, so it's supposed to be a setup one. Unless it ever swifts? Uh, evil Sherman. Fifteen. Yes. Cool. Shockwave is a better move, I think. Okay. Guaranteed 60 damage attack, sure. And I'll keep quick attack on him, because that's, that's just a decent move to have. I guess I could also use, teach GMs while I'm here for my Pokemon, but I'll figure that out later. Honestly. I think I'll just do that once the series is over. Guaranteed paralysis. Um, I'm not here. Oh, for that. And there you go, Wally to 35, so now he's good to evolve. Uh, we've gotten our plus one attack boost, so Crunch should one shot him. But they're all, they're all, ooh, wait, this thing's neutral. Forget. Either way, we are 20 something levels over them at this point, so it's it's not really, uh, it's not really much you can beat with. Yeah, Bobby might also evolve, which would be not ideal for us. Oh fuck, I, I just realized I might have accidentally made it so we have two different Pokemon evolving. Uh, which is bad because, you know, these are supposed to be episodes with one fresh uh, quote unquote encounter each time. If we have two evolutions, then I have to do like a one second episode literally, uh, where I just don't save. Which is weird because the outro to everything so far has been saving the game. So I kind, of, I kind of have to make a choice here. Do I just want to not evolve something, or what do I want to do? I wish I should have maybe thought about that ahead of time. Okay. Um, but what do I want to do here? Because it's definitely going to get to 30. It's not really a particularly hard place for it to do. Max mode also gets to 96, which is cool. Working away toward 100. Oh god. Root Punch. Uh, let me check if Electivire is a physical attacker. Was... Electivire, 83 attack, 95 special. I mean, that's good enough that I can play Shockwave. It's decent to have covered just in case. I, it's very rare, but like... Ah, fuck, what do I want to do here then? I actually don't know. Uh... That is really concerning. Nice, 96. Uh, I guess I'll just do two episodes, honestly. Having like a... You know, at some point we need to have the shortest episode ever. And I think the episode we were, we were not able to save between episodes is going to be the best one for them. Oh, fuck it, I think that's what we do. Just let them both evolve, we don't cancel any evolutions here. Just kinda send it. Destruction. And I have Thunderbolt, so I can just teach you that instead. But this truck is a nice move. I believe they also launched Flame Thurs, so I can teach them that. Anyway, this should be the end of this episode, because we're gonna have two evolutions. Weezing will be a new, uh new thing in our Pokédex thing. That'll be the first one. And I'll end the episode, stop recording, start recording again, have a little one-frame thing evolving, and then uh, have that be another episode. Which is just super weird to me. You know, it's, it was bound to happen eventually. I'm honestly surprised that things held together with, with like the little glue that I had for so long. Oh, anyway, anyway. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next one.